This is Sir Z and for today's tutorial, I am going to discuss one of the elements that you need to be familiar in quantitative method and that is about variable. So what is a variable? When we talk about variable, it is anything that can take on differing or varying values. Okay, so what does that mean? Anything that can vary can be considered a variable. For instance, Age can be considered a variable because age can take different values for different people or for the same person at different times. Similarly, country can be considered a variable because a person's country can be assigned a value. Is variable need to be always numerical? The answer is no. Variables are not always quantitative or numerical. The variable city consists of text values like Manabu or Davao. We can, if it is useful, assign a quantitative values instead of the text values, but we don't have to assign numbers in order for something to be a variable. Thus, we can label or assign a number to indicate the value it should hold just like one for Panabo or two for Davao. Do not worry, we will discuss further about this on my next topic which is about types of data wherein I will emphasize the levels for measuring a variable. Also, please note that a variable has an attribute. So what is an attribute? An attribute is a specific value on a variable. For instance, the variable student grade has two attributes, pass and failed. Or the variable agreement might be defined as having five attributes, one, two, three, four, five, where one strongly disagree, two disagree, three neutral, four agree, and five strongly agree. Now, let us identify the types of variables you usually encounter in a quantitative method. We have dependent variable and independent variable. These two types are the most basic type of variables wherein you need to learn. Basically, it is really important that you need to know the distinction among the two variables. I will discuss also moderating variable. Let us start discussing about dependent variable. This is also known as criterion variable. But before that, are you one of those who get confused about the signs, arrivals, and departure in the airport? Do I go to arrivals because I'm arriving at the airport? Or does the person I'm picking up go to arrivals because they are arriving on the plane? So me too, I get confused on the things like that and it is the same in understanding dependent variable or DV and independent variable. So let us get familiar first with dependent variable. As defined, dependent variable is the variable that is observed or measured and that is being influenced by the independent variable or IV. In short class, the dependent variable is what is affected by the independent variable or the independent variable affects dependent variable. For example, if you are studying the effects of online class program on student achievement, the program or the conducted online class is the independent variable. And your measures of achievement are the dependent ones. As I told you, the distinction of IV and DV is particularly relevant, especially when you are investigating cause-effect relationship. You know what, guys? To be honest, no? it 
took me the longest time to learn the distinction of the two. So it is really okay if you are still confused. Now, in identifying which one is the cause and which one is the effect, the treatment or the online class program is the cause. And the student achievement is the effect or the outcome. Moving forward to the independent variable. In order for us to understand further and to wipe out our confusion, let's now discuss the independent variable, also known as predictor variable. Independent variable is a variable that is manipulated either by the researcher or by nature or circumstance. It is also known as the predictor or explanatory variables or to simply note, let's just say the factors that you think explain variation in the dependent variable. In other words, these are the causes. For example, you may think that people are more satisfied with their jobs if they are given a lot of freedom to do what they want and if they are well paid. So, job freedom and salary are the independent variables and job satisfaction is a dependent variables. Note that you could have two independent variables with one dependent variables or the other way around depending on your study. Also, you have to take note that independent variable influences the dependent variable in either a positive or negative way, which means that the difference in the dependent variable is accounted for by the independent variable. Now, let's proceed to the next type of variable, the moderating variable, also known as the mediator variable. Moderating variable is a variable that affects the direction and or strength of relation between independent and dependent variables. Meaning class, one can be said as a moderating variable if it has a strong contingent effect on the independent variable dependent variable relationship. The presence of a third variable, the moderating variable, modifies the originally expected relationship between the independent and dependent variables. In short, a moderator variable is one that modifies the relationship between the two other variables. For example, suppose you are studying the performance of the students in one particular subject. You believe that the overall exam score of the students are more likely to get affected depending on the number of hours the students will study. But you personally know that the result could vary depending on the intelligent quotient or IQ which is a natural variation to each of the individual student. Specifically, you would say that just because the students spend a lot of hours in studying the lessons doesn't mean that he or she could get a better score because the IQ of one student has a strong effect on the scores. Thus, the IQ of the student could modify the expected result. In this example, as illustrated, our Dependent variable is the exam score of the students, which is affected by the number of hours the students spend to study, which is our independent variable. Now, the presented scenario could possibly have a different result depending on the IQ of the student. Therefore, IQ becomes the moderator variable because its presence could modify or affect the relationship between the hours of study and exam score, which is our IV and DV, respectively. So that's all for the types of variable. I hope you learned something today. 
Thank you very much for listening and watching my tutorial videos. Please support me by subscribing and sharing my video tutorials to your friends. If you have suggestions for my next vlog tutorial, do not hesitate to comment down below. God bless you everyone. This is Sergi. Until next time.